Barbara is an author, speaker, teacher, and the president of the Foundation for Conscious Evolution. And she's known throughout the world as the mother of conscious evolution. She's going to be accompanied in her storytelling by Bridget Law, who is a musician and singer. I heard her sing this afternoon again, and I'd forgotten what a beautiful voice she has. Um, but tonight, she's going to play the violin. We're going to start out with our most favorite expression, humanity arise. In order for you to get started with all of this, I want to tell you a love story. A cosmic love story. An evolutionary love story, and we're all starring in it. Everyone is a star of this play, and we're going to open our evolutionary eyes together to see the part in the story that we're called to now. So to get started, just imagine the universe. Billions and billions of galaxies. Multitudes of smaller galaxies, each with trillions of stars. we focus just on a very, very local event, our galaxy, and in it, our Earth, so tiny that the astronauts could hide it behind their thumbs. So we, when we're telling our story, we have to place ourselves in this magnificent Earth in a universe of untold dimensions and possibly filled with forms of life so far beyond what we have ever known. But what we do know is we're just about opening our collective eyes to find out. That's exactly where we are. So in order to catch a glimpse of our story, it's very interesting to notice the story of creation that brought us here. So let's start at the beginning in the mind of God, in the mind of source, in the infinite intelligence, in consciousness, in the mystery beyond all mysteries. What happened to begin the story, we can see it as a spiral. The reason for the possibility of self-destruction is choice. Now, if I were the creator of the universe, I would want co-creators, not robots. So we actually are facing a situation given to us by the divine process of creation with its enormous intelligence, with the ability to destroy or create, and the choice. So the question is, how are we going to make this choice? It feels to me it has to come from inside us. We do not have a dictator God. We do not have a controlling co creator that has made all of us follow what that creator is telling us. But what the creator has offered us is the internal impulse of creativity, yes? the impulse desire for more consciousness, for more freedom, for a more complex order. In other words, we've been patterned with something that is in every one of us that in my understanding, and this is where we're going to join together, that it is actually our generation and even here at Arise Music, and at the Dome right now would be among the people on this planet most capable of making the choices to arise. I mean, people say sometimes, Barbara, do you feel you're getting younger? And I say, no, I think I'm getting newer. <laughs> I think I'm getting newer every day. Why? Because the world is getting newer. 
And everybody who is saying yes to their own part in what they want to create in a world that is evolving towards radical newness that we've never seen before, and we're not going into the sixth mass extinction, then folks, what are we going toward? Spring has sprung, <laughs> and every time I see you grin, I'm just a, a happy individual. The moment that you speak, I want to go play hide and seek. I want to go and bounce the moon just like a toy balloon. You and I are just like a couple of tots.